Oh. Mm, Sai joins us now. Uh, it's, I, I imagine it's sort of tinged watching some of thing, those things back. Sai, so many amazing, wonderful memories, but also poignant because, of course, Dave isn't here with us in the studio. <clears throat> yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an adjustment, that's for sure. That's mm. for sure. Um, he's a miss. You know, we, you know, even just him complaining at me on the telephone. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and you know, it, because it was, you know, he was my best mate, mm. and, um, and and actually, he still is my best mate. Yeah. You, you mm. know, that, that never goes, does it? So no, um, yeah, but he is a miss, and it's and it's it's just a bit odd. It's all a bit odd. Have you found the whole process difficult, or are you still dealing with it? How 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 do you feel? Well, it the process was slightly. The, the, the grieving process started quite a long time ago for yeah. me because it's a very personal thing, isn't it? Yeah. So um, when Dave was diagnosed, you, you know that that was a that, it was a big diagnosis. So um, w w it, it kind of started it started then really uh, mm. for us because it was all about the fight, and that's what we concentrated on just about about the fight. So that was that was easier in a way um, to be involved at the centre of it with Dave's wife and family as well, you know. And, yeah. Um, and, and, and another clo and, and close friends. So, it, yeah, it was, a, it was a different... Grief is a very individual journey, isn't it? Yeah. It's not... And it's it, different on different days as well. Well, yeah, because it's, because, because it's about an adjustment. It's about an emotional adjustment of mm. loss, really, isn't it? Mm. And, 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 and the things that, that are no longer tangible. And that's quite a, it's quite an existential thing to get your head around. That's the bit that you say is odd. Yeah. That's the bit that's yeah. odd. Yeah. Okay, it's funny because yeah. talking to people and they talk about um, grief coming at you like in waves and you'll, yeah. be, you'll be busy busying around, mm. and you'll be doing something and you think, oh, I'm just going to tell Dave about this because he'd love this. Mm. Yeah. And there's suddenly that realisation when you go to pick up the phone. That's so true, though, Ben, because there's the, the amount of times that I've gone, I've not, I've not heard from that tour rag for ages. <laughs> and, I'll go, and I'll go, oh, my. You know, and, it, it, and it's just... The absurdity of that, but also the reality yeah. of that is raw for you, Si. Yeah, well, look, it, it, you know, it, it's raw for anybody that loses somebody, yeah. you mm. know. It, it, but the, the, there, are, there are, you know, there are two things that are certain in life. You begin it and you end it. The mm. bit in the middle is about what you do with it. Mm. So, and, and, and Dave, I have to say, had a... Uh, he, he, loved, he loved his life. He lived it to the full mm. and, he was, and he was joyous to be around because, you know, at... at I had way less more, way less courage than Dave did because he'd do stuff that I'd go, you've got to be kidding, I'm not doing that. Like Strictly Come Dancing, for instance, absolutely loved it. Could he dance? Could he nelly? <laughs> but he was just, it was just amazing to watch. And we it loved it yeah. because of that. Yeah, because of that, because it was a heart and soul performance, as you always got with Dave, you know, that, that's who he was, yeah. you know. Well, exactly like you said, it's, it's what you do in the middle. That, mm. that really counts. You, mm. You're spot on with that. And I think what you guys did is you touched people in a way that they just loved. And it wasn't, it's not just the cooking and the recipes, it's the adventure mm. and it's watching two mates mm. have a, a brilliant mm. time together. Mm. You could almost be doing anything, weirdly. Well, I, th I think, you know what, I have to say, you know, that we, we, we never, there wasn't a day that went by doing what we did. We, we always used to say it's like winning, winning the lottery, but like better. <laughs> because yeah. we're two working class lads from the north, and, 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 and have the, we, it's been such a privilege, you know, mm -hmm. it's been such a privilege to do and to see the world that we live in and to talk to the wonderful, uh, wonderful people that, are, that sometimes are completely diverse from the culture that we know and understand yeah. and are completely different. And it was just joyous to give them the opportunity. Dave and I always approached the bikers as a, we were, we were conduits for other people's stories. Yeah. We, we had our crack and laugh when we were cooking together, mm -hmm. but it was about everybody else. It was never about us. And, and we always pursued that. And if you pursue that and, and it's honest and it's full of integrity, then everything else follows. And we were never that analytical about it. We just thought, somebody's bound to find out that we're getting away with it. We're really getting away with this, aren't we? It's just... And it was, it was just such a lovely... It was a lovely atmosphere to be yeah. part of. You know? I think there's something special. If you look at the success of a programme like Mortimer and White House Gone Fishing... Oh, wonderful. Two exactly great mates. Just bit, yeah. That's what we were enjoying, watching the fishing yeah. or the cooking with you and Dave. Yeah. You know, we're just watching you be together. Yeah. And that brings us joy.
Oh, well, that's lovely. That's a very lovely thing to say. Thank you both. Now, talk about this book, because this is a book that you, you've it. started together. Mm. Um, and this actually is a bit more personal, because this is stuff that's really personal to the two of you and your families. It, yeah, it is. It's a very personal book. So, Dave and I, how we approach it, we throw 200 ideas in the air. And, and But this one was normally... But this one was slightly different in the sense that it was the recipes that had stuck with us. So, just to put some sort of context into that, the, the travels that we did, we did 600, roughly 650,000 miles over 22 oh, years that's insane. in the saddle of a motorcycle. There's a lot of saddle sores there, though. Yeah, well, I did, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cream from boots. <laughs> so I mean, and, um, so, did you ever bring out a hairy biker's cream for I, that sort of thing? I, I, no, I, possibly, yeah, I don't think they investigated it. We should spin that <laughs> off. I'm sure there's something we can do. <laughs> and um, So the, this book was about all the recipes that, that, that stuck with us, yeah, and it was really yeah. lovely to... Because inevitably, when, you, when those recipes stay with you uh, from, from all of our travels around the world, it, be, it becomes really nostalgic. Yeah. Yeah. So you have, it so it triggers conversations and memories that we'd had and, oh, can you remember when? And, can, you know, it's lovely. Yeah. Um, and that's what these are. It's a collection of recipes. And, and, and unfortunately, um, Dave passed before we finished the book, but thank you to our publishers that they, that they had faith in us enough to say, oh, no, you must finish it, you must yeah. finish yeah. it. And I really, really wanted to, just as a mark of respect for my best mate, and, and, and also to, you know, just... just a, it was about legacy. Mm. It was about looking after that legacy and being the curator of that legacy yeah. is, is really important, and to treat it with, with the respect it deserves. I mean, there's, there's levels of respect it deserves, I think. I mean, there's, there's, one, there's one little bit in here that did make me laugh when I was reading the book. As I was flicking through, because I was thinking, right, what am I going to make the boys later? And he say, friendship is a wonderful thing. Like most people, I've always said, I'm willing to do anything for my best mate. This was put to the test one time after Dave had a motorcycle accident, <laughs> broke his arm and wrist, and he had a cast on his arm and couldn't do much for himself, including washing properly. So here, there I am with him, standing stark naked in the shower, and he says, Kingy, would you mind awfully washing my arm? <laughs> I agreed. He was a clean man, but then he started singing Je t'aime. <laughs> I looked him in the eye and said, if there's any movement down below, I'm off. <laughs> that's absolutely true. Yeah. And that's what's so special about the book. Yeah. It's, it's all of those little nuggets of delight Personal, and moments. celebrating the friendship mm. and brilliant recipes all rolled in. Thank you, Kat. That's lovely for you. And you're going to cook for us later as well, aren't yes. you? Yes. Yeah, well, well, Dave and I actually met over a curry. Oh, so, uh, and four papa doms and, a pint, and three pints of beer. Of I course. Think it was, nice. Of course. Got to have a pint. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to cook a, a chicken dance act a bit later on, which is really quite special. You'll yeah. love it. You'll love, love it. it. I can't oh, wait. It's going to be good. Thank you so much. The book is out tomorrow. Yes, it is. Excellent. Yes, it is. Uh, Cy King and Dave Myers, the Hairy Bikers, our family favourite. Lovely to see you, Thank Thanks. you. Oh, it's lovely you. to see you, can't guys. Wait Thanks. The grub. Can't Thanks. wait for the grub. Thank <laughs> you for visiting our This Morning YouTube channel. We upload new content every day, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And we'll see you in the morning. <laughs>